So after the gym this morning, it was about, I think it was about 29 degrees when I was driving in this morning around 4.30. At the end of my gym sessions, I always hit the sauna. And the sauna's pretty hot. We crank it up, I stand there about 25 minutes, about 200 degrees. Once I'm out of the sauna, I go hit the shower, but it's not a normal person's shower, I would call it. Actually, when I tell my wife what I do in the shower, she uh, pretty much thinks I'm crazy, but here's my routine. I jump in and I crank it to as cold as I possibly can crank it. It's ice cold. So I get out of this sauna where it's 200 degrees and then I just start hitting up this icy water onto my body. It's like caffeine to me, it gets me really pumped up to get moving for my day. It gets me super alert. But as I was hitting this cold water on my face this morning, I was just thinking of just how painful it was for the first 10 seconds, whatever it may be. But it's just so painful when all of a sudden you have this cold water covering this super hot core skin that you just sweat it out. It's a lot of pain right there that resides. And as I was there, all of a sudden I started to just soak in and feel just a little bit of the remnants of the hot water that was mixed into this cold water. Although the overall, the overall component of the water was freezing, I could just feel these little remnants of warmth and I actually soaked in that. I, always, I actually brought that in and it actually felt really, really good. But I'm not even sure if I've felt that before, but the point I'm making here is I found that pretty analogous with life. I think as we sit here and soak in all these things that are happening to us, all these events that were, you know, defining as endurable or not endurable, you know, that's the cold water that is just dominating our bodies it's just dropping onto our hot skin and it's making us very uncomfortable in the moment and a lot of us just live in that uncomfortable reality of life and I think if we just strip away all the emotions and all the perceptions of these individual events if we just strip them all out of our lives, we decide to not define something as good or bad or as enduring, endurable or not endurable, then maybe, just maybe, we'll start to feel those little remnants of warmth, those little remnants of what is positive in our lives all the many blessings that we actually do have under all that cold water will maybe rise to the top. So let's just rid our minds of that today. Let's just try to think that there is something else other than what we have defined in our minds as positive or negative or endurable or not endurable. Let's just think about that and let's just see if we can start to get back to the simple life of really appreciating the blessings and the good things that we do have that it enriches our lives every single day, but we don't take a moment to even recognize it. That's all I got for y'all today, but challenge these events, challenge whether or not they are endurable or not endurable and choose to stop complaining about it. Choose to stop dwelling in a place that 
it's holding you hostage from living out your true purpose and to your full potential. Turn that cold shower on, metaphorically. Let it burn for a minute. Let it hurt, let it bring out all those emotions that you felt in your life because of these various events that have been just drenching you. And then just feel the remnants of warmth and the blessing that we do have, that we've been given in this life. It's an amazing time of the year to just reflect back on all these things and all the many blessings that we do have. So let's do that today. Let's do that. Much love, everyone. Much love.